feeding video of my northern long-toed salamanders. Just giving them a couple small angle worms to chew on. They really, there's three of them in here. just doing a close-up video. I think they're really beautiful little critters. And they, uh, they haven't eaten for four days. I've been away on a, a short uh, vacation with my wife to the Oregon coast. These uh, northern long-toed salamanders are indigenous to the state of Oregon, and uh, it's uh, legal to keep them as uh, pets in Oregon. These are just three that I uh, acquired during a fishing expedition up to a an appropriately named lake called Fish Lake. Small lake up near halfway Oregon on the eastern side of Oregon. I have them in a really simple little terrarium. It's just a spinach plastic tub that we uh, buy spinach in. And uh, I just pulled off the labels and put a couple little air vents into it. And, uh, <laughs> just walk all over your friend there, just step right on his head. How's this guy doing? He's probably just got one little bite left. I try to give him the amount of worm that they can eat and then be completely full. I've got quite a choice of worms that I dug up before winter hit. Well, that worm is just about completely gone there. Just one more bite and it'll be gone. And this guy here, I think this is the smallest of the northern long-toed salamanders that I have. I 
they're very small. Uh, this guy here is probably maybe two and a half inches long. I think they grow up to be about four, maybe five inches long and uh, with a lot uh, bigger body. So, uh, Going to probably crawl underneath this uh, granite rock. He's got his food eaten. This guy here is just working that worm over all he can. This one finished his meal. I'm holding the camera about an inch and a half, two inches away from this uh, salamander. They don't have any fear of me at all. Salamanders, some salamanders, have incredible regenerative uh, abilities uh, if they should accidentally uh, lose a leg or appendage. When they're young, they can grow back the appendage extremely, uh, well, completely and easily. Uh, when they actually get older, uh, northern long-toed salamanders, I believe, also have the ability to regenerate a leg if it is uh, lost in a uh, in some feeding accident or an environmental uh, accident where they lose an appendage. I'm not sure if they grow their tail back if they get it bitten off or uh, amputated in any manner, but they do grow legs back, at least when they're young. I may have given this little guy a little more worm than he can eat, but we'll see. In about 10 minutes I'll stop this video. At least that's my plan. It looks like it's going down slowly. That uh, whipping action that he uses uh, is evidently useful possibly to uh, injure its prey or uh, subdue it in some manner so that uh, it can be eaten. His friend finished his meal and is uh, just hanging out. I think he's going to finish that worm eventually. 
Well, I've hoped you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions about amphibians or salamanders, let me know. Looks like a little bit of that worm's coming up out of his tummy. He may not be able to eat such a large prey item.